main focus this week is trying to get water live in the uh, bus. Yes, and get that, that shower, man. <laughs> so, I am so ready for a shower. So we're, that's every, I think this is the last, yeah. This is the last thing that we have to get hooked up. Yeah. I know how far I gotta be over this away. Let's see where we end up down there. I've already measured out there where I think it's coming out and I made sure I wasn't drilling into anything. So the only thing I might hit is the, the rib of the floor pans. So, and if I do, I'm just gonna have to cut them out of the way because I really don't have much choice. Come out down there. So part of the reason my drilling that hole got tough at the end was when I drilled in the foam, I drifted off that way. So when I went through the metal, I scooted back over, which that made my uh, center, the pilot for that bit, that was two holes come together and so it's not able to hold solid. But anyhow, I hit the rib, but that's okay. That'll just take a little bit of work with this litter disc down there and I'll go cut that out of the way. Okay guys, so got that flange out of the way. So now my pipe can come down, head back down to the gray tank. It's gonna be pretty easy to get the water over here from over there. So it's, I think the best thing to do is put both of the waters up right in here and that'll make them central. And that sink utility likes everything in the middle. It's, it all goes up through the middle. So I'm gonna go drill those through now. Okay guys, I got, I got one hole down through here as far as I can reach with, with this guy. I'm going to put the other one right over here. So I love these Milwaukee hole saws, but so one of the problems when you get down to the smaller size bit for the water lines is it's hard to get the plug out of it. And be careful because that thing's hot. I mean, I got a little... I reminded myself this morning when I was getting ready to unscrew it, but I had to go get the wrench. Anyhow, if you take that off, you can actually even just use the drill bit to clear that out and then put it back on. You're ready to go again. The bigger ones, it's easy to get in there with the screwdriver and pry that out, but this little guy, it's a little challenging. I'm through as far as I can reach, and since there's four inches of foam before the metal, and that thing only goes about two and a half deep, I go through with this long pilot bit. And now I'll go underneath and I'll drill back up the other way. And you gotta be realistic. These, even though these are great hole saws, when you're drilling, the metal floor and stuff with them, they're not going to last forever. You get six or eight holes or ten holes, whatever. They get wore out. You have to replace them. Okay, I'm ready to go down below and drill back up to get those through, those two through the metal. So, it's warming up outside. But look, my honey is here making an awesome lunch for me. Oh, I have to say, YouTube, I love our countertop. This, I love, I'm so glad that we decided to put the sink over there because this space is awesome for working on it. It's bigger than I had in my home. So yeah, it's great. Oh, lunch is looking good. Yeah, we're having summer veggie wraps. So, um. Should be refreshing on a hot day. That's like right, that. something cool. So I'm gonna go down there and you push that through and I'll dry fit it first. Okay. And check the fit. Okay. And then you'll glue it. And then I'll glue it, but all you have to do is hold that joint down tight to the floor. Okay, got it. Go 
going down through. There it is. It's good? Okay, you're gluing. We're done? We got it. Okay, guys, I got my, uh, I got the water stubbed up through the floor over there. And there's the, the tail piece is up on the sink. And you can see that. And now this hip flow will go right onto that tail piece with uh, the straight adapter. Instead of turning like I did in the sink, this time it's gonna come straight down. So this adapter will go right onto that tail. Oh no, that don't fit. Oh, what kind of strangeness have I encountered now? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that. That pipe is a smaller tail piece. I'll have to figure that out. Mm, we have to make a porthole, huh? Yeah, we gotta make a... It was designed for the pipes to come out through the wall. So we're gonna bring them up through there. And they're still, still in behind the drawers, except for the bottom one, which we're gonna have to modify, so. That's the way to do it. Wow, clean break, huh? <laughs> and it's like wondering, I wonder if that's glued. Oh, there you go. It was. Oh, and it had staples too. Well, we've got it back in its spot, and this is how it looks inside. So everything looks like it's gonna fit. We just have to get the pipe to come down and connect to the bottom. Okay guys, it's getting close to the end of the day, and um, we have a bit of a mess in our back bedroom here. So um, I'm going to start hauling stuff inside the shop and get the vacuum cleaner. And then Randy informed me there's also a mess out under the bus. So here's what we've got outside. So I'll get this all picked up for Randy while he's at the hardware store trying to get one last piece. Like that. Randy is back from the hardware store, you guys, and he has got a sack full of goodies. All right, so all we do is make this longer to scoot it over here. This is going to be a challenge. <laughs> Interesting. But, YouTube, don't let it get you down. That is an inch and a quarter tailpiece. The kitchen sink was an inch and a half tail piece, which fit right in here. And all you need to do to make the inch and a quarter one fit is go get this washer. So that basically makes the hole through there small enough it fits the inch and a quarter pipe. So now that will all go like that. This will all fit up on here now. So there's that thicker washer and the, sk the skinny washer so you can tighten it. Mm -hmm. And then the Hepfo valve. And it's got its little flow arrow telling you. You can look inside and see that. So now this goes on here. We can, we can shorten this tailpiece if we have to. That goes on there, then this, oops, wrong way, goes on there, like that. And now we just gotta get from in there, out to here, and then you have this piece, which takes the inch and a half, this end will now be the inch and a half tail piece, which is not inch and a half pipe. The guy at the hardware store, I'm like, dude, that's not inch and a half pipe. And he goes and gets inch and a half pipe. And he goes, oh, you're right. That's not inch and a half pipe. It's inch and a half tail piece. It's like, what the heck? Uh, this one will take either one. And it's going to have the same thing. It's going to have 
that for the inch and a quarter and take that out for the inch and a half. That's how that one works. So now that one will fit in there like that. And the inch and a half tail piece will fit in there and back up into here. Oh well, anyhow, I'm really grateful to people down at the hardware, the local True Value hardware store here is super awesome. You can see I'm gonna have to shorten this to get this up far. So I can see our drawers are gonna be wonky, huh? To be able uh, to go around. I think all they of already fit that. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I bet they do. Yeah. We'll just have to cut the bottom one to do the. They same were thing. already made to dodge that, and mm -hmm. they will. But the third one's not. We're gonna have to cut a notch in it. Yeah. Randy's gluing it together. He's got this pipe right here all glued together. And now we're just making that last connection. The drain's all glued all the way down. Now, this is a inch and a half tailpiece down here. What a half a flow, huh? Yep, and then that inch and a quarter washer went up on that inch and a quarter tail piece up there. Yes. So now, because you can slide this. I know, that's so cool. And I can, actually it's easier to put the nut. Uh-oh, I gotta go see where I'm at down there and make sure that didn't come loose in the wrong way. There was a little bit of play there, huh? Well, I strapped the pipe down to the tank and thought I had it held where it couldn't move. Oh. So that thing wiggling around was not a good thing. <laughs> Anyhow, put this in there. Then the hip will go and go. And get it in the right direction. Yeah, so see that's all the farther it goes on. Mm -hmm. There. Push it down in yeah. there, and then it screws back onto that tail piece up there. there. It's going. <laughs> I can see it climbing up. Okay. Put that tight there, and then that's supposed to be down there, right there. Find it in the right direction out there, then we got her made. Down through the floor. So our pipe did not move. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. Oh, this isn't glued. It's just sitting here. Oh. That's, what, that's what I felt. So we need to bring the glue out and glue that together. No, no, not till it goes into the tank. So this oh. is in oh, the, gotcha. this is in the right position. Gotcha. I that's... just temporarily zip tied yeah. it up. Yeah. Oh, there's our new water inlet. How sexy is that, YouTube? Say anything first? I got this job done. I hope. <laughs> I just have to fasten it somehow. I haven't decided how to do that, but... We've got that all in. And I just strapped those toward the drain with the heavy uh, zip tie. Now we're putting drawers in, and he modified this one drawer for us. Well, I had to. So these are different. They go into that little cleat back there at the back. There. Beautiful. So this is exciting. We've got our sink installed, plumbed, ready to go. We just need to activate the water now. So um, we're going to go ahead and end the video here and um, just know that we love sharing the journey with you guys and we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.